thug of news, the news you choose to use for the views, cause we be coming through, speaking the truth, what it do, what it does, what it is, what it was. Go beard on you niggas. Go beard on you niggas. Very unique. Very unique. Very not like you niggas. Very what you can't do. Yo gal hair ain't this long, nigga. Yo gal hair ain't this long, nigga. She can't put that shit in the ponytail, nigga. Stop playing with Big Slim, man. Time. It take time. It takes time for anything. When I'm coming back to Fort Worth. I'm coming to Dallas November for the movie premiere of our new movie we just uh, dropped the trailer to. Double Cup. We gonna be doing a premiere in Dallas in November during the Cowboys and Texans game. Go to hoglifefamily.now, hoglifefamily.com right now. Get your premiere tickets. There's only a couple. They will be gone in a second. But yeah, so we is gonna go out there to Dallas when it's time to whip on y'all them Cowboys. So yeah, what else going down in the world? Hog Life Family right here dot com. Get your tickets. Get your tickets before they go. Everybody in Dallas, Fort Worth area. See the new movie, Double Cup featuring myself, Propane, Lil Kiki the Dunn, Zero, the Mo City Dunn, Paul Wow, uh It's a lot of motherfuckers in there, man. I'm making me look. Did I say Lil Kiki the Dunn? I think I did, yeah, for sure. So yeah, all my brothers, all my sisters, baddies. We got the Houston baddies in there. All the Houston, you know I'ma put the Houston baddies in there. Stop playing with me, kid. You know I gotta get the ratio right, even if it's a movie. Even if it's a movie, Big Slim gonna get the ratio right. You feel me? Yeah, cause we like that, man. We very much like that, man. We like that. What's good? What's great? We in church today. What is our positive word? What are we on? What are we off? What are we talking about? What do you think of Young Thug getting out? Happy to see Young Thug get out. I hate to see any black man in the jail cell. You know, especially a man with so much talent. He he deserved to be in the mansion, man. I hate to see any of our kings who... Um, found their way out the hood, locked up in themselves. I hate that, man. I really, really do. Because I know a lot of people get away with the same shit they be doing. But yeah, I feel like they, uh, you know, been trying to target a lot of black men and taking them down with a lot of shit. So, but shit that everybody do. They got Diddy in jail for being a, a cook. They got Diddy in jail for being a cook. How many of y'all white people, mama and daddies, is cooks out here? Your mama is a hot wife. Her name is, y'all white people, y'all mama hot name on Instagram, I mean on Twitter, is Hot Wife Sally. But Diddy in jail in the feds for this shit. What the fuck? Your mama and daddy pay black people to smash all the time. What is we doing, man? But yeah. Nah, I'm bullshit. Let me stop for you, but yeah, uh, yeah, man, free Young Thug. Glad to see Young Thug free. You know what I'm saying? Uh, please uh, don't let that probation take you out the game, my brother. He got my name, so it's a beautiful thing I, to see the other thugger. You know what I'm saying? Outside again. Can't wait to see uh, the bounce back. Yeah, man. God bless everybody, man. We want to see everybody win. We want to see everybody on top. We don't have hate in our blood. We have nothing but love in our blood. You know what I'm saying? What I'm smoking on today. Let's see. Leaving Bad Boys Barbershop. We on this. Airheads, full body high, vibrant, focused, hazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what we on. That's what we on today, fellas and ladies. What else we on, though? What else we did? We watched the Megan Thee Stallion um, documentary last night. And you niggas ought to be ashamed of yourself for hating on the stallion. 
I, I wanted to give her a big ass hug after I watched that, man. She been through a lot. Lost her daddy, lost her mama, best friend, went with the nigga who shot uh, at her in the court. Oh, uh, man. Boy, a nigga she slept with, shot at her. What nigga go? I don't give a damn. I eat Tory Lane fans. Nigga, it'll never make sense to pull a gun on a bitch. Period. I don't give a fuck what you niggas say. If you pull a gun out on a girl, you are lame, man. That's just life. So we ain't going with nothing else. If you believe he should be free over that weak ass shit, use a lame to me. Let me be clear with you. I'm riding with the hottie. She got my I got her back. Big Slim ready to give her a big hug and support her for the rest of whenever. But yeah. All you lames out there, you men hating on a woman, you niggas is weird. And deserve to be slapped. Real life. You niggas is hella weird. But you niggas act like women, so I ain't surprised y'all talking about a woman. Weird ass niggas. Yeah. Gossip queens. There's a lot of gossip queens out here always. And women business, everybody business. But yeah, man. I'm gonna ride with the city always. Understand that. And what else? Bahamas, what it do? <laughs> I said we still bad, but I let Trinidad James on the stage. That's hilarious. <laughs> I got 15 new sugar babies after saying this. Oh, word. Yeah, but you can't just light one up and don't do nothing, man. He say thug to find cook hole to your face. I don't know the definition, nigga. It's the hot white shit. Well, cook hole is when the, okay. Okay, a lot of white people into this, if you don't know, like swinging and shit. So when they get married on a, uh, in a white culture, like, a lot of the time. It's black people too though. It's all people actually. If you look this shit up. <coughs> it's where you let a lot of white men can't satisfy their they, they wives or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So they send men, black men, mainly BBCs, to smash on their wife while they look. <laughs> so basically... That would have sound like Puff was in too. They say they let, he let smash Cassie. He hired people to smash Cassie. So, shit. Yeah, we are in church, Rachel. Let's get back on the subject. That what it is, but shit crazy out here, man. Everybody freaks. They in the freaky shit. Same thing with the stallion shit. Uh, ah, oh, she lied about not sleeping with him. Who the fuck want to tell who they slept with? Nobody want to say that. I ain't. I wouldn't have said who the fuck I slept with on national TV anyway. You trying to? Say, she lied about that. Tory ain't do that. Shut the fuck up, man. Who the fuck want to say who they slept with on the fucking ABC News? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Y'all a little stupid. Y'all so slow, man. The fuck is you gonna ask somebody who they slept with on ABC? Shut the fuck up, lady. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> My parents allegedly were swingers, right? Y'all thought y'all parents, y'all <laughs> broke down the car. Y'all thought y'all parents was having them little parties over with the neighbors, and y'all thought it was just gonna be some, uh, y'all thought it was just gonna be some regular shit. Nah, y'all went to sleep, they was turning up. They was swapping out, throwing each other around and shit. Y'all thought the late night parties was just, uh, good get togethers. Nah, y'all mobbing them was swinging. With the neighbors and everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yep. Straight up like that. Straight up like that, man. <laughs> My brothers, other brothers, what's up? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'ma support the stallion for sure. I'ma support Ace Child. I'ma support everything. Houston, you know what I'm saying? That's just what we do. But um uh, What else we talking about? <laughs> My mama crazy like that, so it might be true. I'm telling you it was true. 
Big Slim telling you the facts of life. That's what it was. Appreciate that. Y'all see the new video outside? I'm doing too much, man. We dropping movie trailers. New video off Sugar Daddy Slim outside. All kind of shit, man. It's going down. Yeah. We got a lot of shit going on, man. That outside ride, you fuck with that one time for my players, man. East Tennessee, what it do? You heard that? I blew up a bottle of Benz. I woke up and bought a Benz. I woke up and bought a Maybach. Been wanting this since way back. Paid that. Now I'm in the back seat, laid back. Come on, Big Slim. You niggas thought I couldn't rap, what? Y'all ain't hear that new motherfucking payroll? <coughs> Y'all think OG Slim lost it? No, nigga, I guess better like wine. Look at me. Look at me, man. I get better like wine. You want me to prove it? I'll prove it, okay. Okay, I'll prove it to you. You want me to prove I get better like wine? I'm finna show it to you right now. You ready? This is me at like 26, I would say. This is the real Big Slim, 26 years old. You see the mouth iced out like you niggas just now getting? I been doing that shit y'all been, y'all just now doing. This is Big Slim right here at 26, right here. This 26 year old Big Slim. Now look at today's Big Slim. Look at Big Slim, 44 year old Big Slim. Look at the skin. Look at the health. You can just see the health all through my body, all through me. You can tell I'm a nigga who got his shit together. You can say this nigga here is taking care of himself. You know what I'm saying? I look younger now. And this is the key to life, man. You got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of yourself, man. I see people and they look uh, 100 years old. And I see people who look young. This is me at 26. This I hop. We drank, not giving a fuck. It looked like I don't give a fuck. It looked like, fuck it, give me another shot. Fuck it, give me another hamburger. Fuck it, give me the fucking cake. Fuck it, give me all that shit. Yeah. Look at me now, though. Look at Young Slim. And y'all wonder why I'm at the park every day? You wonder why I'm at the gym every day? You wonder why? You got to take care of yourself. It's more important than money. You see these niggas falling out left and right, man. Taking care of yourself is more important than money, man. I'm telling you, take care of yourself. <coughs> That's step one. The rest come with, come after that. <coughs> Step one is help. I'm just trying to, I'm being a real example, man. I got paperwork for everything I'm telling you, man. 2005 was prime time slim, real life. You And you can think like, you can say that, and I can say, um, I agree with you as far as like as a rapper, like I already platinum, still tipping, boss of all bosses. Like the era of 2000 to 2010 was my era. So basically, you just see me by the drop here, right? I bought a Rolls Royce yesterday, if you didn't turn that into thugger news. I bought a drop here. It was the last car I was missing out of my whole collection. In 2017, I think, I'm gonna have to go back and look and find the first picture I came up with in 2017. I say, man, I wanna, um, I wanna, uh, start a collection of cars or whatever or maybe i said i wanted three cars i think i wanted a, a, a 59 lac a 57 chevy and a um and a donk so i think that's how i started and then i come with man you know what i want my favorite car from every decade you know what i'm saying until I, as far as i want to go back so all the way to the 40s i got my favorite car from the 40s my favorite car from the 50s the 50s 
if you don't know right now, I'm Spaceship Slim. I love spaceships. I love the future. I'm a fan of the future. That's why I support Elon Musk. I buy, you know, the Cyber Beast. I can't wait for the robot. I want a flying car. I'm a fan of the future. I still got the Monte Carlos at the house. LS and everything in the hell. I still ain't driving. Okay, but I'm a fan of the future. So I like spaceships. I feel like in 57, and in the 50s, they was on something. They made cars like spaceships. They put a lot more detail in those old schools. So I like to make, and also I don't want no old school. Well, some of them are. I don't, it ain't about I want old classics either. It ain't like, oh, you want some classics? Nah, it ain't necessarily I want our classics. I want our spaceships. I want my favorite car of every decade. And I want to be able to drive it whenever I want to drive it. So I want a car really with a new motor in that hoe, push button start, I can drive around like a brand new car, right? That became my goal in 2017. I just bought a drop head Rolls Royce uh, yesterday, which completed it. So now the 40s, I got my favorite car. The 50s, I got three cars. I got a 56 Caddy, cause I wanted the one that you win. I say you win. I bought a 56 Caddy because watching like Motown movies and shit, whenever them Temptations and Fire Heartbeats got a deal, they all went and got them Cadillacs and shit. So I wanted to get one of them, that was my 56. 57, I just love 57. It's just always been one of my favorite, but you know, I got that. But really, I'm a Cadillac nigga, really. I'm trying to kick Elvis ass with Cadillacs. So mainly I have Cadillacs. I got a couple other cars, but I'm not a Chevy nigga. I'm a Cadillac nigga, keeping it 100. I got a couple Chevys, I fuck with Chevy, but in my heart, I'm a Cadillac nigga. I ain't trying to race nobody, I'm a pimp. That just be, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's just to get to know me a little better, okay? So, in the 50s, I got a 56 lakh, a 57 Bel Air, and a 59 lakh that I made with Bill. In the 60s, I got my 64 Lincoln with the Suicide Doors convertible, your photo Lincoln convertible drop. Cause that was like the cool, the JFK Lincoln. It was like the coolest car. Where the fuck you gonna find a four door convertible with Suicide Doors? It's an amazing car. In the 70s, like I said, I wanted a dump. But at the same time, the, the Boss Hog is how I even got my name. So I had to do the 75 Cadillac, and that's like probably my most, man, that lack is famous. That's the one that was in the video with Megan Thee Stallion. That's the one that I drove in the rodeo. Man, that motherfucking lack, it's, it's, a, it's a celebrity. So that's my 75, and in the 80s, I got an 87 Monte Carlo, T-top. You know what I'm saying? Because I just wanted a T-top, because that, that was just an era in the uh, 80s, something cool. Scrap, what up, G? Uh, what else? Uh, the 90s, I got the 96 Impala, and I got the um, the Benz, the 600 V12 Benz. That was like the dope boy dream when you were a child. You see niggas coming at Benz. You know niggas had their shit together, like, to come in that big, heavy-ass V12 Benz, right? So now, I was missing my 2000s car, my two, but my 2000 to 2010 car. So now I got my drop head, and then I got my Lambo Aventador is an 18, so that's for my 2000 to 2020 car. And then for my 2020 plus, I got the Escalade, the Bronco 2020 plus, the 250 2020 plus, the uh, Cybertruck 2020 plus, the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Spectra, the Rolls Royce 2020 plus, yeah. So that's it. That's the complete collection. How many cars do I have? <clears throat> I would say 17, maybe 18 after I bought that one. <clears throat> you ain't seen the Lambo. Big Aventador, drop top. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget about the bike scrap. Shout out to Hard Riders. We got the trike. You know what I'm saying? We got the Road King. We got one at the crib too, a, a Road Glide. So yeah. We, we probably get another motorcycle since I'm in that bike club. They be want me to come out. I'm going to get a real cruiser, not no, you know, show shit. I did have a drop head back in the day. 
And I got rid of it for my rate, because y'all know how I say I do it. Like whenever I have, I buy a Rolls Royce and then send it for what I paid for it and get the other car next. But I got the rate thinking that the drop head will have something that was better, but <clears throat> no. You know what I'm saying? A big Aventador, yes sir. So, look, so, the I had the black back, I had to double back and get the drop head. But this time it's black on black. The last one was black and tan. So now, yeah, we here. We got, we did that. Not only did we do that, 